Hello, I'm Saladette. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the third lesson for the trinomial cube. In this lesson, you will review and learn the algebraic formula for the trinomial cube, the order of operations for an algebraic formula, PEMDAS, how to insert numeric values into the variables of the formula, and how to calculate the formula using PEMDAS to prove it. In the second presentation of the trinomial cube, you learn the names of the parts of the trinomial cube and how to add them together to create the formula for the cube. If you need a review, please check my YouTube channel for my other videos. Before inserting numerical values into the algebraic formula, you need to know the order of operations. To help you remember the order, you can use this acronym, PEMDAS. PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and finally, subtraction. Let's give A a value of 5, B a value of 4, and C a value of 3, and place them into the formula. You may have noticed that there are what look like dots floating in the middle of the numbers. They are actually signs used for multiplication. In algebra, the floating dot is used instead of the multiplication symbol because the multiplication symbol looks too much like the letter X. Let's use PEMDAS to calculate the answer. First, we do the parentheses. 5 plus 4 plus 3 is in parentheses. That equals 12. Next, we do the exponents. 12q is 12 times 12 times 12, or 1,728. 5q is 5 times 5 times 5, or 125. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 squared again is 5 times 5, which is another 25. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which equals 64. 4 squared is 4 times 4, another 16. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Next, we do the multiplication. 3 times 25 times 4 is 300. 3 times 25 times 3 is 225. 3 times 5 times 16 is 240. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 is 360. 3 times 5 times 9 is 135. 3 times 16 times 3 is 144. 3 times 4 times 9 is 108. Lastly, we do the addition. 125 plus 300 plus 225 plus 240 plus 360 plus 135 plus 64 plus 144 plus 108 
plus 27 equals 1,728. 1,728 equals 1,728. As you can see, the equation balances, so all the work has been done correctly. On the next screen, there is a worksheet to screenshot and print. I challenge you to put different numeric values for A, B, and C into this formula. Remember to check your own work. If the equation balances at the end, you've done it all correctly. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.